Hello again, it's Keith Atkins here and you've tuned into my video channel. Um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to mount a collet chuck in the Boxford centre lathe and um, um, that's what we're going to do. If you've missed an earlier video we showed you, I showed you how to remove a chuck safely from the Boxford lathe and you can catch that on the previous video just tune into it. I'll give you a reminder later and now we're going to concentrate on this particular video. So here we are and um, as you can see I've removed the chuck and that's really only in the lathe spindle there. Okay and the first thing we need to do is to check that it's clean and also this piece of wood safety block in position like it was when we removed the other chuck. So the first thing to do is to make sure it's clean. The, 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 <coughs> the thread up the spindle thread must be clean and also inside the bore there. You might think it's clean but um, check it anyway. If you move your finger inside there, paper any debris you'll see on it and we've got some there you might not see it there but it, it's important not to get any any swarf or, or turnings chippings in and it pays then to wipe around the thread of the spindle to make sure that that's clean and I don't know whether you can see on that but there is some sort of not exactly clean but I've cleaned it now so what we need to do now is to put the spindle protector in position and we do this and this is the spindle protector okay. same thing with this you have to make sure that's clean I've already cleaned it so this is how you do it if there's any debris in the threads of that get them out as well. So you need a little bit of lubrication on the spindle threads anyway. Uh, there's just a little bit there. I think we can use a touch more. So give it a little tad more on here. That's all that's needed. Just a little bit. Don't overdo it. And then we can <coughs> introduce this spindle protector to the spindle thread. Oops. So, got oil on my hands from the oil can. Um, spindle lock is there in position, and you must have maybe heard that clicking. That's all you need to click it in. The next thing to do is to get the mount, <coughs> the collet mount which is this device here that's going to be perfectly clean especially on those surfaces inside because the accuracy of the collet will depend on the cleanliness that you're going to apply to your job any bits could throw the collet out so it's perfectly clean now and we're going to introduce it to there I'll just remove any perspiration from that Okay. And then that's it. All you need to do, uh, excuse me, the, the arbor is now in position to receive a collet. I have selected a collet here, which is a half inch collet, and it also works on a drawbar system that goes down the spindle of the lathe and screws onto that thread there. And it pulls this into the headstock. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to show you the. Um, I'll show you the drawbar system, which is this. Some more modern layers don't have it. They have a different collet arrangement that you tighten up and secure it at the, at the, at the chuck end. But this is a really good one. 
it's worked for years for me. And you insert it at the, at the back of the machine there. Let me show you. See? There you go. At the back of the machine. Slides in there. One of the disadvantages of that system, you have to be careful because when the lathe is in motion, it revolves, of course. So you've got to make sure that people, nobody's standing near that as it's revolving. And that's probably one of the reasons why you don't use that system generally and go on to uh, uh, tightening the collet at the chuck ends. But anyway, if you're careful, that's fine, it works. So what I've got to do now is to introduce the, the collet, which is a half inch one. That'll take half inch round stock. On these collets you can actually get hexagonal type uh, features. So you can mount hexagon uh, extrusions and things. And you can also get squared stock. So you can get a square collet and that will also fit in there. But generally speaking, the round collets are much more useful. I have a full set of them. I have a full set of them here. But I've selected this for you. So what you do is you put this in there and just turn it round a bit so if you, it won't go in and just twist it a little bit there. See it's gone in and then you, you, you feel look see it's just mounted on. You turn the turn the um, draw bar and you'll see now that it it draws that in watch it see it drawing it in drawing it into the chuck and that's it so draw it in a little bit closer And now you're ready for, to, to mount a piece of half inch stock in there. Um, I just saw I've got a little piece here. So, being turned down a bit, it doesn't matter. If you, turn, if you, if you introduce that, release it a bit. It's got a little burr on that side, but I'll see if it goes better on this side, which it will. And then well, it's just not doing. Uh, let's have a look. Now that's better. That's the spindle lock. And you just tighten it, tighten the collet up, or you can just tighten it by holding that. But the spindle lock's far easier. And that's it. You've mounted it in and you now can end reaction. You can now be ready for action. You can turn that part and um, we'll look at that on the next video. Um, but first I'll just show you a selection of collets. If I can direct the camera in the right direction. Um, and I also I also will tell you, I'll give you a reminder later, as this video finishes, uh, I'll give you a reminder to we'll check out the link for the previous video on how to remove the chuck safely. The piece of wood that we used there, um, it's handy because if you drop that, that's important not to damage the lathe bed. It protects it and a heavier chuck, well, that could cause damage as that video will, will well, I'll give you a reminder about that you can check into it later but now if I can just show you the uh, the, the mm. that is the you can see these here these are the uh, <coughs> options for the for the collets for that thing not really clear, but it's quite an, a selection of them. We've got about three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. I think it's about eighteen collets over there. 
18 collets there altogether. I'll just shut that door. It's very difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult moving cameras cameras about and trying to get the angles, but you get get the idea. So this is just a short video. Uh, we'll be doing more on the um, on, on, on <coughs> turning operations, but in the meantime. Um, Check out the video on how to remove the chuck safely and that, 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 <clears throat> it works in conjunction with how to put the college college chuck on. So I see that. So until then, um, happy turning and see you next time. Remember, please like the video and give us a like if you will. Uh, I'd much appreciate it. If not, and you can always make comments, comment about anything you want or tell me what you'd like to to uh, um, ask any aspect of turning that you like me to discuss and show and show you, I'll do it if I can. And uh, and there you go. So this channel is for you to <laughs> to utilise, make the comments, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Then you'll not miss anything at all. So as I said, happy turning. See you next time.